Hey guys, welcome to another Dying Light 2 worth it video. A series where I buy bundles on the Dying Light 2 store, try them out, test them, see if they're worth buying at all so that you don't have to. Today we're going to be looking at the Savage Samurai Bundle. Now this is a pretty big bundle, you get quite a lot for your money. Now the first thing in this bundle is the Savage Katana along with its blueprint. Next up we have a bow called Yumi, the Savage Samurai Outfit along with a full gear set, a paraglider, a charm called the Mempo, and a new type of arrows called the Savage Arrows. All this will cost you about 800 Dying Light points. Now starting off the outfit. This outfit is actually really nice. Like I could see this in a zombie apocalypse. It's very clean, it's tactical, it's not too over the top, and also just overall an amazing skin. Like I'd give this a 9 out of 10. Up next we have the Paraglider, which by the way looks sick. From no matter where you look at it. And at night the Paraglider glows, but unfortunately the skin doesn't. Now up next we have the Savage Katana. You can look on screen how much it'll cost you to fully upgrade it and how much to make it. Fully upgraded, it only has two mod slots and doesn't really do that much damage. But the unique thing about this weapon is that when you swing it, it feels kind of different, a little, a little unique when compared to the other katanas. And when you do a very hard swing, a heavy swing, Aiden will do a nice little flip with the katana. Next up we have the Mempo Charm. This reduces the durability cost per hit of your weapon by only 10%. And honestly, that's not really all that great. The charm right above it, the one from the Payday bundle, does the exact same. So it's not really unique or special. And I personally wouldn't really use it because durability isn't really something you worry about that often. Next up, we have the Yumi Bow. Now this bow actually does more damage than the best bow you can buy from the store. So it is pretty good. And with it, we have the Savage Arrows, which can launch your enemies when you hit them. And when you use this bow and charge it, it looks really sick. But to be honest, I think the impact bolts from the crossbow launch your enemies more than this. So if you really want to launch people, I suggest using impact bolts with the crossbow. But if you want to make a fun little montage, using this bow would be a lot of fun because of the effect. Now lastly, you have the gear set. Every piece of gear has the exact same stats. That being a reduction in stamina cost from melee weapons by 7%, an increase in damage for two-handed weapons by 9%, an increase of 3% for health regeneration on perfect blocks. And when you wear the whole thing, you get a 42% reduction on stamina cost, a 54% increase in damage with two-handed weapons, and 18% of health regeneration on perfect blocks. So to conclude this bundle, if you're just starting out the game, this is an amazing bundle to have. But if you've finished the game and don't really have much else to do, this bundle is mostly worthless, other than the bow and the arrows. But yeah, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to leave me a like. And if you want to check out other Worth It videos, make sure to stick around to the end screen and click on one of them. There'll be two at the end. And if you want to check out some of my merch that I made with AI, click on the link at the top of the description. And if you find yourself coming back to my channel, please do subscribe. It helps me out a lot and helps me make more of these videos. But anyways, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.